this week it's going to be a quiz. Basically a quiz on uh, colour perception and it's going to be very simple and I'm going to type out the questions and send them to you as an email and in this videotape I'm going to make the uh, examples so that you can understand the answers okay so you can watch this over again and email me back the answers before the end of this week okay so you know i've got this here the first question is about the rainbow now the colours are always in the same arrangement and you may have learnt how to memorise it. I don't know if you did this in the school here, but one easy way to remember it is to turn it into someone's name. Roy. G Biv Okay And that simplifies it And this gives you the order as well That the colours appear in Red Orange Yellow Warm colours Green in between warm and cool, blue, getting very cool, indigo, that's a dark blue cool, and violet. You can see it there, and the colours of the rainbow travel from warm to cool, so warmest is red, orange, yellow, green, that's the mixing of colours, and then eventually we get to violet, which is a very cool colour at the bottom. Roy G. Biv, rainbow, and that's an easy way of remembering it. You see a rainbow when there's rain. I suppose it's occurred to you, you know, why is it only there when it's rain? Well, as the sun's light is passing through each molecule or tiny globule of water, it bends. And in that action of the light, going in and coming out, it's revealing its colours, you know, it shows the colours that are inherent in light. And that's why you will see when there's a lot of mist in the sky or just after a rain, you will see the rainbow and it is caused by light refracting inside. Sir Isaac Newton who found that out, you know, he used uh, prisms and shone lights on them and he could see the light on a piece of paper you know, with all the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, all of them there caused by the light getting bent like that. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, Indigo, violet, rainbow. That's the first thing. Those are the colours of the rainbow. Now, we as artists are going to see basically primary colours just now and then secondary colours. So the primary colours are named primary colours because you can't 
they're undividable. Uh, by that I mean that you cannot take them and mix colours together to make them. All right? So these are the primary colours. Red. You can't take two colours together and mix them and make red. There's red. Blue. You can't take two colours together, mix them and make a blue. It's prime, it exists by itself. And yellow, that's the last one. Again, you can't take it and mix two colours together and try and make yellow. It won't work. So those are the primary colours. Red, blue and yellow. Now, if you take combinations of these, you will get the secondary colours. Now, a lot of you will know this already, but some of you don't. So, the secondary colours are caused by mixing together different combinations of the primary colours. So, you'll get red and yellow. Here will form orange. There it is. We can all agree that's a sort of orange. <laughs> then you have blue and yellow. And here we are. So the secondary colour there is a kind of green. Can you see that? That's definitely green. Made from blue and yellow. And then the third of the secondary colours we'll try this purple and red and that's forming well sorry I <laughs> jumped ahead of myself the purple the blue and red together form purple. So, primary colours, blue, red, yellow, secondary colours, orange, green, purple, okay, and you know, then you mix together combinations of these, you've got the primary, the second, then you would have the tertiary colours, which we'll be mixing purple with orange, or purple with green, you know, and it goes on and on and on, you can mix all sorts of colours together and create an infinite series of shades just from those primary colours. And of course, when you go to your computer, if you have a printer and you open up and change the uh, inks, you'll notice that you can get lots and lots of different uh, amazing photographs printed from just a few colours in the inks. And that's the mixing together in the machine. So that's your basic primary colours and secondary colours. Now, there's an interesting thing happens if, say, for instance, you want to do this at home. It's kind of tricky to show it here, but you can do this at home. Say, for instance, you took two pieces of paper about that size. Like so. And I painted, uh, say for instance, a yellow dot here. It's going to be a bit wet, but if you would allow that to dry. And then you took a piece of paper 
okay? And if you stare at the yellow dot for a few seconds and just let it kind of go into your eyes without thinking. Okay, and then if you put this then in front of it and quickly look at it, you know, so it's just a blank sheet that you're looking at, something will come up. And in my case right now, I'm seeing a kind of blue after image. Now, what's that? Well, blue is the opposite color of yellow. Okay, so this is a way that your brain is always seeing opposites as well as the positives. So it sees the opposite color. You can try this at home, you know, it'll make sense if you do it. Um, just set up an experiment. So for instance, I'll try the other side now, red. And if I take red and put that, stare at it for a few seconds, you'll do it in your home, do it in your home, and then put that over it, you get a kind of green, greenish after image. Try this, you know, and uh, it works for nearly everybody. There's always somebody who it doesn't work for. But isn't that the same of everything in life? There's always somebody who nothing works for. And, uh, what have I done now? The blue. Need another piece of paper. So if I take the blue, make a blue circle, same again, pop that on, and it's working quite quickly with me, but you'll probably need a few more seconds than I'm doing it. And it's a kind of yellowish after image. So those are the opposite colors. Okay, so that's the first thing. Rainbows, primary colors, red, blue, yellow, secondary colors, orange, purple, green. And the opposite colours are going to come from looking at that. Try it, you know, if you've got time. It doesn't take very long and it's an interesting experiment to show you that the eyes are creating opposites without you doing anything. So those are the colours of the rainbow. Now in the eye, the human eye, I can draw this so you can see it. There it is. Now say for instance, you know, when your eye is seeing someone walking along. Interestingly enough, your eye, when it sees that person in the eye itself, the retina has the person upside down. So it's the nerves here all this stuff, the neurons and what have you, are connected to the brain. And the brain, being clever, takes that image on the retina and it reverses it. Or puts it back to normal, in fact, you know, so. Without that combination between the eye and the brain, you would see everything upside down because the eye picks up the picture upside down, but the brain turns it back the normal way. Interesting, isn't it? These are things you never think about. So inside the eye, there are two components. Okay, they're kind of microscopic. The one that is bigger are, is the shape of cones. And there's less of them, see. Yes, there they are. And they perceive, you know, for lack of a better way of putting it, you know, I'll make it very general. They perceive colour. Okay, so the cones, 
microscopic color. They're very tiny, you know, you'd, you wouldn't be able to see them with the naked eye, you know, they, they need a microscope to see them. So those cones perceive the color. And the other part is in the eye, which there are many more of. Say for every three cones, which I drew in the last one, there's all this with these things, which are these long things. And these are called rods. And they see, they, they get in all the detail. And you could almost say that they see in black and white. These are big generalizations, but this gives you a rough idea of what's going on inside the human eye. It's uh, doing a lot of work, you know, and it's got these rods for black and white, cones for color. So with those two things going on, your eyes are able to uh, perform miracles. So with all that information, I will send you out the quiz, which is very simple. And if you lose track of things, just rewind this film and go back and look at it. And uh, uh, I'll type it out, but I'll just give you it here in writing. So question one, name, colors of rainbow. Okay. Name the colors of the rainbow. Number two, name the three primary colors. Okay, number three, name the three secondary. What is the micro, what is the name of the microscopic part of the eye that sees colors? Okay, and number five, what is the microscopic part of the eye <laughs> that sees black and white? Okay, so those are the questions, first five. And the last question is, what is your favorite color? And, why? Okay, that's number six. What is your favorite color and why? And those are the other questions. You can freeze frame that, but I will type it out again and send it on CUNY first. So that's this week's quiz. Name the colours of the rainbow, name the three primary colours, name the three secondary colours, what is the microscopic part of the eye that sees colours and what, <laughs> what is the microscopic part of the eye that sees black and white and what is your favorite color and why okay that's it for this week and uh, email or text me those answers uh, as soon as you do it i will be able to give you your marks out of six and hopefully you all get 100 percent
So the weather is improving and I uh, trust you're all in the best of health and happiness and wishing you all sincere affections from Professor Scott in his studio. Over and out to you all. Bye bye.